hello everyone good morning good afternoon good evening or depending on the time we're reaching you guys welcome back to our channel so good to have you guys back here again and thank you once again for all you do for this channel god bless you my people we really appreciate you and we pray that even as you support this channel god almighty will support you in whatsoever you lay your hands to do in jesus name amen thank you once again guys yes my people as always we're back again with latest and most authentic happenings in the country the one we've got right now guys is coming from Edo State. We know um there is leading to the Edo State governorship election after Governor Godwin Obaseki decamped to the People's Democratic Party. Some other APC members um followed a faction led by Ansley Mojezwa um also followed as well. We know that uh, um even after Obaseki decamped, Ojezwa was still in support of Obaseki. To the extent that he was the one that came out and made a statement, an open statement that APC has no candidate in the forthcoming governorship election. That was a shocker. That came as a shocker to everyone. And um, from that point in time, everyone knew that um, uh, um, these guys are going to move. They are going to shift camp very soon. But it all went like that. And then not long after the election, after Governor Gordon Obaseki finally won the election, under the umbrella of the People's Democratic Party, Ojezwa finally made his intentions known and he moved camp. He did come to the People's Democratic Party. Right now, the news reaching us, guys, is that um, he's uh, lamenting, I'm uh, um, seriously stating that uh, those of them that, uh, that, that, that have moved to the All Progressive Congress, that PDP still doesn't trust them, that um, there's still a lot of uh, mis uh, distrust. There's still a lot of suspicion. They are still watching them closely. And um, he, although he's lamenting, he also stated that um, it's, that is not um, uncommon or unusual, that it's politics. It happens in politics that he knows very well that these guys are just watching them, that, you know, a chairman, he was the chairman of the All Progressive Congress. As such, he held a very, very uh, um, tough position within the All Progressive Congress. So if we look at it um, in one way, he was ready to forfeit all of that to join the People's Democratic Party where he's just a member, an ordinary member. And right now, <laughs> he's, when he got into the uh, People's Democratic Party, it's not like they immediately gave him one sort of position or that. Even without a position, he's still saying that they are watching them closely. Um, they don't really trust them very well. They are suspicious of all of their actions. And he's hoping that very soon when um, PDP starts their own membership registration, maybe probably when they register and get things done officially and everything, that maybe things might change. Anyway, guys, um, we'll bring more details as to all that Ojezwa is lamenting about right now. But before we do, guys, please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Also, click on that notification bell, guys. Press the bell until it turns gray. Thank you once again and God bless you. Yes, we'll get into the news now and grab all of the details. The breakaway faction of the All Progressive Congress APC in Edo says it is still experiencing resentment, distrust and suspicion from the People's Democratic Party members in the state. Mr. Ansel Mojezwa, the chairman of the faction, disclosed this in an interview with the news agency of Nigeria NAN on Thursday in Benin. Recall that... Ojezwa had led his faction on defection to the People's Democratic Party in the build-up to the September 19, 2020 governorship election to declare support for Governor Gordon Obaseki. Ojezwa, however, told Nan that such resentment was normal in politics. It has not been an all-rosy situation. I notice there is still some level of reservations, mistrust, distrust, suspicion, but all these are normal in politics. Once there is a huge political development as it had been experienced in Edo State. Naturally, you have such symptoms. I'm confident that the leadership of both groups will have the capacity to deal with it because it is all about confidence building since we have a common interest. I believe that common interest is enough to build the confidence that we need and we are working around that, Ojezwa told Nan. He explained that those who recently joined the party were waiting for when the membership registration of the party will begin to be able to register en masse. People are waiting to see what we'll ask for in terms of where we are going. When PDP starts to register, 
you will feel it. Initially, the expectations was that the PDP was on the verge of massive registration of members, but that has not happened because the national body has a plan for the exercise. To that extent, we have to wait and I'm satisfied that we still have the confidence of our members. The former Edo APC chairman told Nan that he was hopeful for a smooth running arrangement for further engagement with the state government. This was a personal decision for him. His own case is even quite different from that of um, Governor Gordon Obaseki. You know, Governor Gordon Obaseki, um, days leading to the Edo State election, it wasn't his intention to decamp. It was the way things went. You know, the rift between him and Adam Soshomole made Adam Soshomole um, screen him out. It was Adam Soshomole's screening committee that actually screened Obaseki out of the race and disqualify the governor from participating. And at that time, the governor stated that there is no need, that there's no need to challenge all of this. He has seen everything that is going on, just a waste of time. And he started having um, consultations with um, the People's Democratic Party to decamp. So Obaseki finally moved. Eventually, after um, all um, the attempts was uh, um, agreed, after they had all of the consultation. So why am I saying this? Because um, Ojezwa right now is um, lamenting, stating that uh, they're not getting the sort of treatment that they should get. You know, prior to this time, he was the chairman. Now he's just an ordinary member in the party. And even on that, he still, uh, like he stated, that there is a lot of resentment for them. You know what that means. <laughs> There's a lot of resentment and uh, mistrust, distrust, name it all of it, that they're still watching them closely. Whatever he's getting right now, whatever he's seeing, and whatever the PDP they are doing right now, um, he has to um, deal with it because um, he wasn't actually forced out of the All Progressive Congress, like I stated. It was his, his own personal decision. He made that decision. There was really no situation that pushed him out, no major situation, unlike um, Governor Gordon Obaseki's one. So he just saw the way things were going, and most probably um, the way Adam Soshomole was handling the party at that time before his suspension. And everything anyway guys um, he stated at the end he concluded by saying that he's hopeful that um, once uh, they begin once PDP begins their registration he knows things will fall in place and also the, there's been no activities um, nothing much really happening within the People's Democratic Party election is done and dusted and that um, once things begin to happen and they begin to play their role maybe trust will come from there and everything they are looking for Anyway, my people, that's it. Uh, and the news reaching us, Ansel Mojesua, stating what is happening to him in PDP right now. Let's hear your own take down below in the comment section. Thank you once again for staying tuned. Please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Till I come your way again with more updates, bye for now and God bless.